Gabon, the world's third largest manganese producer, is using readily available scrap metal to manufacture steel products in local factories. Young men have acquired a growing interest in the city's Mindube garbage dumping site where all waste is collected and are turning a fortune for themselves. Men and women pick through a newly arrived truck, sifting through the rubbish as they look for scrap metal, anything they can sell to the new steel factories. For these foot soldiers, the business offers survival. To attain something, we must work hard. If you have not really suffered, you have nothing. It takes a lot to suffer. Initially, the scrap used to be thrown away as garbage, but with the recycling, it became gold as companies rush in to buy the waste. Before, what was thrown in the trash was garbage. With recycling, it became gold. This is because there are companies that are beginning to make the first transformation complete. Over time, scrap metal will become increasingly scarce. And this will have us searching every corner in the country. The business of scrap metal in Libreville has led to dozens of young unemployed people finding work. At least it allows you to have 100 francs in the pocket. With that, you're able to afford something in the evening. In previous years, collected scrap was exported overseas to countries such as India. But thanks to a new special economic zone, Two steel recycling plants are already operational with three more under construction, boosting production of goods overall and increased revenue for Gabon. We can only be satisfied because here is something that was considered an unrecoverable waste now being exported, contributing to not only Gabon's international visibility, but also putting the country on the market of ferrous scrap in the domestic market and reducing the cost of building materials. Gabon aims to become the top rainfall steel or rubber exporter as it supplements the revenue it gets from manganese. Leslie Mirungu, CCTV.